This video demonstrates how the patented Pyometic technology developed by Professor Moa Sunny can be used to quickly repair and strengthen concrete bridge piers that may get damaged in an earthquake. The project was initiated by the U.S. National Science Foundation and the California Department of Transportation, Caltrans. Researchers from several universities, including the University of Nevada at Reno, Missouri Science and Technology University, and University of Houston participated in this study. The 24-inch by 36-inch column specimen was first subjected to cyclic earthquake motion such that three longitudinal reinforcing steel bars on each face of the column were fractured. The objective of the study was to see if the strength of the column could be restored without replacing the fractured steel bars. Using a jackhammer, a 10-inch deep narrow trench was cut around the column in the foundation. A torch was used to cut the longitudinal steel bars in the foundation. The spalled concrete was replaced to bring the column back to its original size and shape. On each face of the column, four quake-wrapped GU-50C strips, each 4 inches wide by 4.5 feet tall, were attached above the foundation level. Quake Bond J201TC tack coat was mixed and applied to the surface of Pyometic PLC 100.60 carbon laminate. The Pyometic laminate was tightly wrapped around the column, creating a 4 foot tall 7 ply thick jacket with a total thickness of approximately 0.3 inches. The jacket can be temporarily held together using shrink wrap or ratchet straps. The Pyometic jacket was then pushed down about 10 inches into the cut trench. QuakeBond 320LV low viscosity resin was mixed and blended with aggregate and placed to fill the trench. Using the previously positioned plastic tubes, QuakeBond 320LV low viscosity resin was mixed and pumped into the annular space. This bonded the carbon strips, the concrete column, and the pyometic jacket together so they could resist the applied loads simultaneously. The repaired column was subjected to reversed cyclic loading. The load deformation hysteretic response of the original column, shown in red, can be compared with the repaired and strengthened column, shown in black color. The research team leader, Professor Saidi's comments to the Caltrans engineer are quoted below. The most significant finding of the test was that the pyometic system, in combination with carbon FRP strips, effectively restored the strength of the column and most of its ductility capacity. The jacket system failed at the column footing interface, indicating that the embedment length of 10 inch into the footing was sufficient. This is certainly an attractive alternative to repair columns with fractured bars. It could save time and money because the fractured longitudinal bars were not replaced. Please visit our YouTube channel for more videos of our products.